My name is Tyler Helgeson. I work in the gun counter at Smith & Edwards. And I've been duck hunting for about a year now, so I'm fairly new to the sport. I've been hunting everything else about 25 years, so I know what I'm doing for the most part, but there's always something new to be learned. We had a beautiful day out here in the swamp today. Uh, a little bit buggy, but it's going to happen this time of year. Got a couple cool products we're going to talk about. Um, and if I can wrangle up my dog, I'll even show off a cool vest. But he's a little stubborn today. Today I'm wearing the waders from Winchester. These are a, a 1600 insulation, so this is actually kind of warm for today. Uh, problem is I, I hunt mostly geese and ducks in the winter time when it's really cold, so I tend to go with these a little bit more. Um, the big thing with a good set of waders is really figuring out what you're going to need for insulation. So whether you need a 400 up to a 1600. Uh, the higher the number, the warmer they're going to keep you. Big thing with that too is picking your good camo pattern. Um, you got to remember ducks can see a lot. They have amazingly good vision. So Make sure you pick one you like and the one that's going to blend in good with your surroundings. The shadow grass and then the Max 4 and the Max 5 are the most popular. Um, you can get some of the fancier stuff like the Optifades and, and some of the Cryptics, but I'm a man on a budget for those ones. The big thing with, with ducks is you got to be able to, to call them in. So I carry a pretty good variety. You don't necessarily have to carry this many. Uh, on my lanyard, I like to carry a nice one from Dual Calls. Um, very high end, uh, great call. This one's a double reed. Um, I also carry a little single reed it's for stuff that's not far away. Uh, keeps it pretty easy for that. Um, they, we hunt a lot of pintails in our area, so I carry two different duck whistles. They tend to get those in a little bit better. You can signal those pretty good. And for the geese, I, I trust an old, an old wood one, but there's probably a lot better stuff out there. Um, we've had some awesome new um, products coming in, and just a matter of picking what you like. So. I have a good variety of lanyards as well. I've made my own, which takes some work, but we have all the supplies for that Smith & Edwards as well. So, just a matter of deciding what you want to use for it. Okay, one of the big things you want to think about when you're going out duck hunting is what kind of shell you're going to use. Of course, it's got to be a steel shot uh, with all the regulations and everything like that, but you don't necessarily need to pick the cheapest thing out there. The better the stuff you get, the more success you're going to have out in the, out in the, the swamp here. So. Something like your estate shells are going to be pretty affordable um, and they're going to be a pretty good knockdown with that. I tend to shoot these more in the two and three quarter when I'm out just hunting like the smaller ducks like the green wings. Uh, when I get up to the bigger stuff, if I'm going out hunting something like a green head, I always carry the heavy metals, which they have awesome written a distance to them with the right chokes. Um, something like a nice pattern master will do that. Another one that works really good is the Kent Fast Steel. Um, these ones tend to knock everything out of the sky you shoot, them, you shoot at them. So work really good for that. Another really good one's going to be your blind sides. Um, blind sides work the best if you get the blind side choke with them or a pattern master with it as well, uh, but it's another superior one. Um, all these are going very fast compared to some of their cheaper competitors, so get the right ammo, get more ducks. All right, now to one of the big things about duck hunting. You got to bring them in, so the best way to do that, you got to have a good set of decoys. I always say the more the variety you have, the more numbers you have, the better. Of course, if you're walking in, you're going to have to be kind of pick and choose. I hunt in a lot of areas where there's a lot of pintails, a lot of green, green wings, and a lot of green heads. So I tend to carry a good variety. This is a small amount of what I normally carry, but you always want to make sure you have those. The way I do it, instead of foregoing the, the decoy bags, I use the easy rig system from Tangle Free, which the ducks will simply be already weighted up, ready to go with a simple loop. So you throw them where you want when you go to pick them up. Simply drop them down to the weight and put them into your carabiner. A lot easier that way than having to throw them over to your buddy to get them in the bag or to tow a bag around even. So this way works a lot better with the boat, of course, than walking in because you can carry more with the boat. But it's all about what you can use at the time. In order to pick up those gloves, of course, you want to get a good set of decoy gloves. Um, I hunt a lot when it's really cold out. My hands get numb in the first five seconds of picking up decoys if they don't have these on. So these ones from Glacial Glove, which are carried in the camouflage department of Smith & Edwards, work great. And they're affordable. You don't have to break, it, break the bank. They work great even at 10 below. Make sure you, just, you get the right gear and you stay warm out there. <laughs> you sit. 
I know you can shake. Wow, you're a good boy. You can be a good boy today. Yeah. As you can see, I'm my uncooperative friend Roger here. He's wearing the nice new vest from Tangle Free. It's a nice neoprene coating on there. It keeps him somewhat insulated. If he didn't like to jump in the water so dang much, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, he's very preoccupied with ducks right now as well. But the cool thing with this is it actually has some other stuff in there, some foams that are going to keep him floating, um, along with being the insulation on there. So it's they're form fitted. They come in all the way from small to 3x, and uh, yeah, he actually doesn't hurt, hurt him at all when he runs or anything like that. So it works really great. Go get him. As you can see, that one was a little large on Roger. Um, I made sure I got him the one that's a little bit big. He's still growing. He's just over a year old, so he's still got about 20 more pounds to put on. After that, it should fit in perfectly. So it's going to be a good-looking pup. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, now, if you don't mind, i got to go find my dog, Roger, real quick. He's helping a DNR agent uh, empty out the garbage, so I better go grab him. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah.